settling an argument, or not an argument, a discussion for a client of mine at his office. And the question is actually a really good one. How often to care for your clothing? So I'm gonna go over the three basic elements of your wardrobe and some tips that might be a surprise to you. As far as shirts are concerned, we have three different types of materials that we work with here at Polani. This is a Sea Island cotton, generally the more casual style. This is a two-ply Egyptian cotton here. And then we just recently introduced our Italian wool, which has a little bit of natural stretch to it. So regardless of the type of cotton or the wool, we always suggest dry clean only. Light or no starch. Starch is technically a chemical. So the less chemicals that you introduce to your clothing, the longer the last. I personally own Bolani shirts. I've had two, three, four, even five years. So you figure getting about uh, two to 300 dry cleans out of those. So dry clean only on your better shirts. You should be good to go. As far as outerwear like this top coat, you can typically save dry cleaning to the very end of the season. Once is typically good before you store it for the season. Things you're wearing on a daily basis. So sport coat suits and jackets like this, which you're going out for Valentine's Day. You should check this out. This is a gorgeous wool cashmere. I'm wearing a traditional wool, it's a super 130s, but most of us were trained thinking that dry cleaning was caring for your suits, jackets, and trousers. It's actually the worst thing that you can do for your better quality garments. So I know it's counterintuitive, but if you think about a properly made jacket, it's canvas, meaning there's a layer of uh, cotton in between the uh, outer wool and the inner silk lining of the jacket. Uh, it's not cotton actually, it's a, a canvas, which is a blend of cotton and horse hair. And so that naturally breathes and eliminates any body odor that your sport coats and your suit coats would pick up. The trousers that we use are also a natural material, generally going to be 100% wool. And so those naturally breathe and self-correct. Dry cleaning, when you introduce a chemical to it, is one of the harshest processes you can do. And so as a result, you're gonna wear through your garments much quicker if you dry clean them. Rule of thumb is unless you spill something on your garment, don't have it dry cleaned. Uh, you can ask for press only at your dry cleaner. That's simply hitting it with steam where you get rid of any wrinkles that you might get on your trousers or in the crease of the elbow on your jacket. Last item to discuss, and this is a very controversial item, and that is wearing your So. If there's salt in the street, there should be galoshes on your feet. Uh, these are some different examples of different galoshes that we carry. I know that a lot of guys hesitate to wear galoshes, but the only thing less cool than wearing a set of rubbers is wearing a pair of salt-stained shoes. Happy dressing, my friends.